Now with dividing integers, it's a little different. Let's say we had 4 divided by 2. The first number tells me how many total I have, and the second number tells me how many groups I'm going to make with it. So if I've got four positive tiles, and I'm going to make two equal groups. The answer is what is inside of one group. Well, what's inside of one group for this one is a positive two. What if I have, though, negative four divided by positive two? My first number tells me how many total tiles I'm starting with. Negative four. And I'm going to share that into two equal groups. My answer, my quotient, is what is in one of the groups. Well, in one group, I can see it's negative two. What if I had negative six divided by three? My first number tells me how many tiles I'm starting with and what kind they are. My second number tells me how many groups, equal groups I'm going to make. I make three equal groups. My quotient, my answer, is what is in one of the groups. Well, in one of the groups is a negative two. Now, what about if I had four divided by a negative two? My first number tells me how many tiles I'm beginning with and what kind they are. The second number tells me how many groups I'm going to make. Well, this is saying divided into the opposite of two groups. So I'm going to make my two groups, but I'm going to need to put the opposite sign outside. So in one group I see positive tile, but the opposite tells me positive two. The opposite of positive two is a negative two. What if I had negative six divided by negative two? The first number tells me how many tiles I have and what kind they are. The second number tells me how many groups to make. Well, this says make the opposite of two groups. So I'm going to put that opposite outside. So inside here I see in one group is negative three. The opposite of negative three is a positive three.